I wanted to show you guys this interesting effect um, with this liquid I got here. I uh, talked about it before. Um, it's not quite water, it's not quite oil, it's kind of in between. Uh, and this formula, right, I'll be showing today, it actually has more water than oil. Um, that's why it's super clear right now. But it has an interesting effect. Usually, you see with these, uh, particularly water batteries or crystal cells or something of the like. Is that when you use water and you have two dissimilar metals in this electrolyte, you place the metals in the electrolyte, you start getting bubbles, especially from the negative electrode like that uh, aluminum right there, the aluminum wire. Uh, you usually get bubbles. As you can see, there's no bubbles coming off that aluminum wire, nor is there bubbles coming off that uh, copper wire. No bubbles are forming from it. So that's quite interesting. There's no hydrogen being produced. There's no. Um, so there's no need for a depolarizer or anything like that as there's no bubbles are being formed. So that's very interesting. But this is not true with every metal. Um, I find that copper and aluminum work the best for not creating bubbles. But when I add something like magnesium ribbon into the mix or place it in there just by itself, not hooked up to anything, you'll start to see bubbles forming. Slowly coming up. Bubbles are being given off the uh, magnesium ribbon. It was quite hard to see. You can see bubbles are coming off of it at a rapid pace. Right there, you can see them clearly now. There you go. So you get bubbles coming off the magnesium ribbon, but you don't get any bubbles off the uh, uh, copper and the aluminum, which is quite interesting. This uh, liquid affects each metal differently. So I'm finding that copper and aluminum works best for this type of liquid. You can just see the bubbles are just rushing off. But you're thinking, what happens to that magnesium ribbon? And this is what happens. It turns black, but it still withholds its strength. So it's it's strong. See, I can I can bend it just fine, and it doesn't break. So it's still got its strength. So that's what happens. I'm going to show you guys that that the um, aluminum and copper is not affected. It doesn't create hydrogen, so there's no need for a depolarizer in this mix. But the uh, magnesium ribbon does create bubbles. As you can see, the bubbles pouring off of it like crazy. But there's nothing. There's nothing coming off of uh, the aluminum, and it still looks brand spanking new too. And they shorted out like that for a while. So yeah, this is a very interesting liquid. Not quite water, not quite oil, kind of in between. But this mix has a little bit more water than oil in it, and that's why it's clear. So I thought I'd let you guys uh, look at that.